Why do ultimate happiness? Why do ultimate happiness? My present circumstances seem so far apart. The third kind of gap that all people face, expectation reality gap, is the gap between happiness and the circumstance in which we find ourselves. What is your definition of happiness? It seems like it's smashed by the reality in which you find yourself, doesn't it? You want a better marriage, you want a better job, you want to have a better sense of well-being and security, but it's always one step more, one rung higher that you must achieve. You climb up the Mount Everest of your lives and you wonder if that's all there is. The story is told of a middle-aged man who hadn't found uh, a wife. He told his best friend that he would really love to find a girl, but every time he found a girl, his mother did not like her. His friend gave him some advice and said, uh, it's very simple, uh, it's easy to solve that problem. All you've got to do is is find a girl that your mother likes with the same interests, with the same desires. <laughs> and so uh, he did find a girl that his mother liked. Six months later, the man and his friend met. His friend said, what, are you married now? He said, not yet. He said, did you find a girl that your mother liked? And he said, yes, I did. I found a girl that my mother liked. They were spending hours on the telephone together. They went shopping together. They had a wonderful time. So the friend now asked, are you married? He said, no, but now my father does not like her. You know, what we're really looking for is a person to bridge the gap and a place where there will be no such gap between happiness and the circumstance. We've already talked about the kinds of expectation reality gaps and the features of these ER gaps, but now I come to the most important part of the stock. And please listen very, very carefully. I want to explore the meaning of these expectation reality gaps. There are three aspects to the meaning of these ER gaps. First of all, ER gaps reveal your inability to bridge them. They pronounce a judgment on your finiteness, on your limitations. They tell you that you can't really do anything about lifting yourself from outside having found yourself inside the hole. ER gaps reveal your inability. Secondly, ER gaps call your bluff, call your bluff. You know, I'm taking that uh, phrase from uh, the game of playing cards. All of you who play cards uh, have attempted to put on a very strong facade. When you're dealt a hand and you make it appear as though you have a very strong hand. Your playmates also attempt to convince you that they have a very strong hand. The first one lays his card on the table, and suddenly you have to reveal the fact that uh, you don't have as strong a set of cards as your friends. That's called your bluff. You are attempting to bluff your way through life. ER gaps, accent your bluff. Let me give you some views by which people bluff through life. The first one says there are no bridges between expectation and reality. Philosophies and philosophers tell you, just bring expectations down to reality and you'll be fine. This is a dark world, this is a hard world, live with it, deal with it. Bring expectation down to reality. It's full of despair. You're left in your loneliness inside that hole, unable to be rescued. Some who say there are no bridges, but there are some others who say there are many half bridges. Are there half bridges? Are there half bridges? Back in you? The religions of the world say, you know, you can either deny expectation and deal with reality, or you deny reality and simply have an expectation. But just think about that. When you expect to deny expectations, that itself is an expectation that is hard to deny. When you have to give up your desire, your first desire becomes the desire to give up desire. 
Others will say, you know, you simply deny reality. Just deny it and live with it. But that's a very dangerous way to live. If you think you can deny reality, you actually fit into what counselors and psychiatrists call psychotics. You may have heard the definition of a psychotic. A psychotic is one who denies reality. A neurotic builds on top of that denial. I heard a line which said, psychotics build castles in the air. Neurotics live in those castles. And psychiatrists collect rent from both. So some say there are no bridges, others say there are only half bridges.